This is how we do it. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast. Yes, it's your favorite podcast. I know it. That's why I'm doing it just for you. This is Discussing Nothing, the show or radio. Is it like sort of like a radio show, isn't it? Where we discuss a multitude of topics, more often than not, meaning nothing. I'm joined by two esteemed gentlemen today to discuss more topics that we like to discuss. I'm joined by Liam. Hello, Liam. Hello, Ross. I'm joined by Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, no adjectives today. I didn't search them in time, no, you know. Yeah. I had them up. Let me let me see what You've I can You've been a bit flustered today. Let me let me let me see what I can think of. The squidgy. Alex. The podgy. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Happy? Wow. Well, you uh, got your adjectives. I don't know. Might have a HR case, but here we go. <laughs> Who's HR again? I don't, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, today, let's do some preamble. <laughs> Liam, this <laughs> wasn't the preamble. No, no, no. <laughs> right, okay. We're doing some preamble right now. Liam, how are you? Fantastic. You were a bit flustered that you couldn't do your hair, but might I say it looks fantastic? I haven't done my hair. Whoa. Just, 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 just woke up like this. Woke up like this. Wow. I'm wearing hmm. a hat to hide my hair. Or lack of. Alex, oh. how's your hair situation? Well, it's on the way out, but it's fine. I'm just I'm just coming to terms with it. Could be worse. You could be a 26-year-old man losing their hair. That would be way worse. I don't think yeah. I could handle it. I feel like it's less embarrassing losing your hair at 31 than it is at 26. Thanks, man. Could be worse. Could be 18 losing your hair. Yeah, yeah. Like Prince Philip. <sighs> he did lose Sorry his hair. Sorry to get political. He, <laughs> oh, he, he, yes. <laughs> the political leader that is <laughs> Prince Philip. He's gone now. Well, well, I'm not talking about that one. What's the William? Oh, that one. I... You're thinking about William. Oh, I don't. I'm not very pl- uh, Prince okay. Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, died. Right, that's that one. Just as he reached a hundred, I'm pretty sure. Right. Anyway, today I've put on my most regal hat because we are discussing a very original topic. I come up with a lot of them, as you can tell. Um, today I am Count Sauce Miller, and I will be. <laughs> Discussing with my two colleagues, what are the top five sauces? Don't come at me with gravies or soups. They ain't sauces. If you say bread sauce, you're a liar. It's got the word sauce in it. Yeah, but I'm not going to say it. So it's fine. Would you get a would you get like a squidgy, you know, like a squ- squishy like ball of bread sauce? Uh, we're gonna have a problem <laughs> right just let's go on. <laughs> right so i'm gonna say right we're gonna do this a bit differently um let's just rattle off our lists actually no we're not gonna do that because that never works number five <laughs> alex go uh number five sauce and it's not in a squidgy bottle it's, they're often found in glass bottles um is the nando sauce but what i do like is i take the garlic one and the wild herb one, and I mix them together on my plate to create my own Alex concoction. Which Nando sauce you get many? The garlic one and oh, the wild right. herb one, and I mix them together. Do you know Nando's? Have you been? I'm not the biggest fan. No, as you know. that's clear. Well, <laughs> so there's two sauces. So wait, this is Alex's special Nando sauce. Yeah, it's called the special Alex sauce. <laughs> the wild herb, <laughs> garlic, mix it together on my plate, bosh. Can I come round for some special Alex sauce? Anytime. <laughs> well, you should just go to Nando's. <clears throat> so you're mixing... So Which two sauces are I, you combining? I, garlic? Yes. And is it like a garlic mayo? No, no. Just on the... Nando's, I think... Nando's garlic. Are you qualified for this? <laughs> no, <laughs> probably not. Your, your, name, is, sauce not your name is Ross Sauce... No, I'm Sauce Miller. Sauce, sauce Miller. Miller. <laughs> you don't. Sauce Miller. <laughs> so you have your... You've got your classics, your mediums, your, and you've got yeah. your wild... Yeah. And you also have your wild herb. Ooh, shiver. And your garlic. <laughs> okay. And you take those two and you mix them together. Mm. I didn't realize we were doing cocktails today. Well, you asked me what my favorite sauce is. That's my favorite sauce. Those two mixed together. Okay. And it's number five, so... It's going to get worse, so... You're number five. Mr. My Connolly. number five, weirdly enough, also comes from Nando's. Ooh. Mm. But it's the black bottle. The, oh. Yeah. The proper, <laughs> the proper the stuff. The <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this one is either. I know what it's it is. It's the spiciest one. Oh. Is it? No, they added another one, didn't they? That's pretty impressive, though. I could so, not hack that. But you, you can't... Like, you do, like, a little bit of garlic meal there as well. Mix them together. 
You've got your own Liam sauce over there. I've yeah, got so our own sauces. We, we should number number we're starting the num- <laughs> top five sauces in the world with Alex's special <laughs> sauce and Liam's special sauce. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Liam, would you say you do well with a bit of spice? I do well with it. Yeah, do you do well with a bit of spice? I do well eating it. The aftermath is the same for everyone, <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, I don't really, yeah. I actually don't. My mouth doesn't deal well with the spice, but I think my body could get through a lot. I like the challenge of it. You know, when you're sweating, <laughs> trying to eat your dinner, you have to pretend that it's not that, as hot that as it actually is. too hot for me. I can't handle it. Doesn't surprise mm-hmm. me. Yeah. We're just three guys who love Nando's. Yeah. Hey? I do love Nando's. <laughs> Overrated. Uh, <laughs> I had a friend staying this weekend. and You had a friend? I had a friend staying this weekend, and she had a black card for a year from Nando's. Genuine, went unlimited Nando's as much as she could eat whenever she wanted. I think if I got a black card for Nando's, I'd simply shred it because I think Nando's is awful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you would shred it? You yep. would shred free food? No. Free food? Yeah, Someone no. gave you a card where you could go get chicken and I chips? I think I'd spare like free. a person who desperately need food from giving them crap food. I'd go, nah, rubbish, shred it in front of their eyes. Wow. What a statement. That changes lots of things. Anyway, my number five is American mustard. Don't care. You've, ru- you've ruined everything by your statement on Nando's. <laughs> yeah. nice. I do like American mustard. Yeah, I like it. On a bagel, you yeah. know, a bit of yellow. hot dog. Stains your fingers a bit, but, you know, I love it. I'll, I'll put it on a bagel. Yeah. I'll have what I call my around the world in 80 days bagel, <laughs> which is do you wear American you mustard, do? German salami, and Dutch cheese. Around the world in 80 days bagel. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, what's your number four? Um, My number four was Perrinay's, which is also from Nando's. He's gone from Nando's. (laughs) No, no, that's my last Nando's one. Next is medium. (laughs) Next one, medium. No, the Perrinay's sauce from Nando's is So that's just like a spicy mayo? Yeah. There you go. Spicy mayo for you. Spicy mayo, yeah. You're simplified. It's a peri peri nail, mail. A peri peri mail. Yeah. Yeah. Peri peri. And what sort of taste? Is that a good a bit of spice? Yeah, well it tastes like Nando sauce and mayonnaise. Mm. Mm. Nando sauce and mayonnaise. Yeah. Which 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 Nando sauce? Let's <laughs> Just good. a spicy one. <laughs> What's Mild. Your, <laughs> What's your number four? Mine's is peppercorn sauce. Ooh. Mm, that is yeah. good to be fair. On good. a nice steak. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It is. I guess it's peppercorn. Is a sauce. What's the word after peppercorn? Yeah. No one just goes. Do you want some peppercorn? Do you want some peppercorn sauce? Yeah, yeah. That's a sauce. Thank you. Kind of, you know. Yeah. What was your number four? Oh yeah, I'm doing this too. <laughs> sriracha mayo. Mm, sriracha sriracha great. mayo. Now, so I, you know, well, you know how sriracha mayo tastes like mayo, but with sriracha in it. Yeah. Well, that's what Perrinay's tastes like. But it's yeah. not as good as the, you know the the actual bottles of sriracha mayo you get. Oh, you don't buy the, that, do you? Yeah, the big orange just, ball. But and also, you just limit yourself to having peri meal. If you buy meal and well, you make your own peronese. Not peronese, sorry, I meant to sriracha. If you get your own sriracha and your own mayonnaise, you can have sriracha meal whenever you want. I have but that too. You can also just have sriracha. I have that too, but you've got too many condiments. I do have too many condiments, and it's a real issue in my my life with my living with my girlfriend because she buys too many condiments. And we just simply just don't have enough storage for all She's the problem. <laughs> like all relationships. <laughs> <laughs> like everything wrong yes. in this relationship. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know the sriracha mayo <laughs> yeah, no, I know. bottle? Yeah, it's great. It just doesn't come out enough. You know? Mm. Just, you know, it's just like the stream from the bottle yeah. is too weak. But yeah. I guess it's saving you from a big kick. Yeah, yeah. Saving you from yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'll put it on a quarter pounder, like a chicken quarter pounder. You ever get a bird's eye chicken quarter mm-hmm. pounder? Sriracha mayo, bit of lettuce. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Lovely jubbly. What's your number three? So you know when you cook a steak? I've done it before. And then you have all the juice left on the board. No. <laughs> right. That. You take that and then you take your mashed potato and you just like mop it all in and eat it. And it's... Absol- absolutely <laughs> delicious. Not a sauce. Not a sauce. It is. <laughs> you literally just said it was a juice. Meat juice. Yeah, a, so- a, a meat sauce juice. Meat no, but juice. once you mix it with the potato, it gets all like saucy. No. Right. This is where we're getting <laughs> we're getting saucy. bogged. I'm getting bogged down in detail now. Okay. Yeah, you are. 
You can't go into the supermarket and buy, oh, a bottle of meat juice, please. No, I make it myself. No. <laughs> and you can. You buy the meat, and then you cook so, it, and you get the so sauce. So far, we've got Alex's special sauce, Liam's special sauce, and Alex's meat juice. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's not, that's not regulation. Fine. VAR. What are you saying? No. Not no. Sauce. Not, no sauce. Sauce. not sauce. Still my number three. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to think of another one. No, I'm not, I'm not got one. <laughs> I can't believe that's better than so many sauces. Uh, the, the mop juice. Yeah, the mop juice. Mop oh juice. my goodness, it's amazing. Right, what's your number three? <laughs> Mine's actually a sauce. Right. <laughs> I believe you. A sweet chili sauce. Mm. Formerly known as one of Alex's favourites. Yeah, I believe once we he got proclaimed top, yeah. he liked it so much that he'd have it spraying out his, one of his fingers. Yeah, I do recall that somewhere as well. Yeah. You know, it's not made my top five. A lot mm. of yours haven't made my top five, I'm not going to lie, because... <laughs> Meat juice hasn't made your top five? <laughs> oh, oh, we'll find <laughs> out. But no. But it could. So I think sweet chili sauce. sauce is incredibly overrated. I think... What do you... I would dip a, like a tempura prawn in sweet chili sauce. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't dip a fry a in sweet stick. chili sauce. A fry? Maybe. A chicken select? No. A burger? No. Yeah. yeah. It's what quite very, On a pizza? No. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah, it goes... Yeah, a crust. A crust of a pizza. I don't think it goes with any of these. I'd, I'd exclusively dip a tempura prawn in it. Like a deep fried tempura <laughs> prawn. And I don't think I'd dip anything else in it. I don't think... It, I don't think that sauce, if it was in my cupboard, covers enough bases. Hmm. I think it's... A bougie sauce with limited purpose. Have you got it in your cupboard? No. I've got lots of sauce in my cupboard. <laughs> but no sweet chili. <laughs> no sweet chili. Because wow. I'm not cooking tempura prawns every day. What? Not- <laughs> <clears throat> Number three is barbecue. No. No. No, no. It's way higher than that. No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd, I'd put a barbecue on a burger. I'd put a barbecue on a McDonald's fry. It's the best McDonald's fry dipping sauce is what I would say. Agree. It's it's great. I like going into that McDonald's place. Even if I say behind the counter, I was like, can I have a barbecue, please? They say no. I'll go up and I'll I'll squirt it in that little paper cup. I'll <laughs> well, take it home. I'll take some home, yeah. Hmm. I think it doesn't taste... Barbecue doesn't taste as good apart from Sweet Baby Ray's. That's the only one. You know the one, mm-hmm. the fancy one you get from Costco. It doesn't taste cupboard. as good as you get like um, the one at McDonald's, would you say? No, it never does. No, but never does. I would say the Jack Daniels one. Have you ever had that? I think you I've get like Monterey Jack right now as well. Nice. I tried what it for the first time. Yeah, it's all right, but I still think Baby Ray's is better. Interesting. Number two, go. Uh, sweet chili. Number two, go. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yes, mm, we've heard it all before. We've you know, heard it all before. Versatility and all that. Oh, we love a BBQ. I love barbecue sauce. I'm guessing it's your number one. It's my number one. It's your number one. Well, my number two, and I'm surprised it's not made any of your list. Mayonnaise. No. No. You don't like mayonnaise? The only time I would eat mayonnaise is when I'm skiing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, because like when you're in Europe, the only place you can really, like when you're at the top of a mountain, you're not getting by, like, and you can't speak the language and they're giving you, you get mayonnaise and ketchup and that's it. <laughs> that's the only time I would eat mayonnaise by itself. Do you I have to be on we the We learn a lot about you. <laughs> on the <This> slope. <laughs> we learn a lot about you every episode. <laughs> <laughs> only eats mayonnaise in the Alps. That is true. That's the only place I eat it. Why? Because you can't get anything else. I love sauce. And I need to eat <laughs> chips with sauce. And the only... You just... I can't... Mayonnaise is the foundation of most of your sauces. That's fine. <laughs> We're on a podcast. You need to talk more. <laughs> no, no, but, <laughs> but the per- I that's fine if it's the foundation of the rest. But just put the rest of the stuff in the mayonnaise. I think there's nothing better than dipping a pomme frite in mayonnaise when you're skiing in the Alps. Yep, I agree. No, the chips and mayo, mm, love that. Right. What's your? Did you, what was your number two? Barbecue. Barbecue. Okay. Right. Number one. Yours is barbecue. Yep. Basic bog standard barbecue, bitch. That's what they call me. <laughs> number one. Curry sauce. Oh, in a t- from where? From, from I guess from a chippy. Want. No, oh. or you could get the, like the Mayflower one. I've ones. not set the ground rules of this one well enough. I you have and I'm frustrating myself because you, it, it. You can get meat it in, juice. No, but each one of his does say the word 
Sauce. sauce. All of mine specifically I says sauce said, after. I should have said top five condiments, but at the end of the day, I'm sauce Miller. Here we are. Meat, meat juice still would not have been a condiment. That's not one of us. Curry sauce is weird because you get it from McDonald's. Curry sauce is like, you never actually have an actual curry with curry sauce, would you? Yeah. What curry are you having? With, like, if you Can if I you, have, what curry is that? What curry is curry sauce or is it just curry? My order from a Chinese, because, you know, cost of living crisis. Yeah. I used to get salt and pepper chicken and like a special curry, a beef curry, a certain type of curry, cost of living crisis, and I would get salt and pepper chicken, curry sauce, and fried rice. So yep. I'm asking for that curry sauce separately. But what my point is, is that curry sauce, what curry does that curry sauce come from? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Because it's not chicken tikka masala, is it? It's not no, it's just like chit lamb rogan josh. What curry sauce is it? What curry does the curry sauce come when from? When you go to a Chinese and you ask for a curry, they give you that. I know. That is, it's just a curry. It is the curry. Blowing it's good though. Mind. I don't know what it tastes yeah, like. I know what it tastes like. And what curry does them, that curry sauce come same. from? The curry. That is the it curry is sauce. The, it is the definitive It's like the curry. mayo yeah. of curries. My number one is ketchup, and it's not made either of your lists either. Nope. Like, what the blimmin'. So boring. The only time I eat ketchup, in the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> ketchup. Way better. Is the foundation of oh, sauce. brown sauce. I didn't think about that. Ketchup is like the pièce de résistance <clears throat> of all sauces. Fine. It, I just don't, I just disagree. once again talk more. You're on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't I just don't like it. ketchup. Fine, fine. <laughs> I just don't like ketchup. P- what would you put on a sausage roll? A bacon roll? Brown sauce. Brown sauce. Oh my god. Brown sauce over tomato sauce. Yeah. Every day. All right, let's wrap this up. These two have been a bit weird today, right? Kelvin, <laughs> what what's, what sauce are you liking? You want my top five or <laughs> please <laughs> no? I don't have no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Give me one. Uh, I'm a ketchup man. <laughs> but you know. You can't be a bit of ketchup and mayo on the plate together. Oh, yeah, we 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 mix a Reno. We mix her, that's what they call it. And we uh, mix a Reno. You that, have that with a prawn cocktail. Yeah, well, yeah like a prawn, like a mar- prawn Mary uh, Rose. Yeah, prawn ma- Mary Rose. Yeah, prawn Mary. Ro- oh. I should have got you on this podcast. We could have bonded over our love of ketchup. Brown sauce sucks. Brown sauce does suck. No, it doesn't. It does. Chippy sauce. Right, get him up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, let's wrap this up. Um, I agree that ketchup is up there. It's, you know, like you said, it's like the pinnacle it's a, of sauce. It's, it's just like... It's a staple. Yeah. I don't agree with mayo. I, mayo is not there for me. But also curry sauce. I'm pretty sure curry sauce, it, it's like Chinese curry. Like that's what a Chinese curry sauce is. Really? So like if oh. you've got a Chinese curry, that's what the sauce is like. Hmm. Thoughts on meat juice? Fact check here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because my dad's made Chinese curry before and that was kind of like the sauce that it had. Oh, interesting. Well, So that's why I'm going off. Well, Back check it. here. Well, we've learned a lot about <laughs> Alex today and Liam. <laughs> Liam did follow the rules quite Thank well. You. If I was, There's no winners in this, but if I was going to give a winner, I'd give it to Liam. <laughs> because <laughs> Liam never wins and he can't even win this <laughs> yeah. one it's not a winning one. <laughs> There you go. You can have this one. The, I the, don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> we learned a lot about our boss who loves meat juice. meat juice and special sauce. This has been another episode of Discussing Nothing. Never go around to Alex's. <laughs> Thank you. And good night. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.